Guess who's back in the house? I hope that you guys are having a lovely day. It's been a while since I've been on live, so I wanted to give you guys a few updates. So this video, I will talk about how my life has been impacted by the coronavirus. Um, last week, um, I was in a very different space. I actually um, took a mini vacation to Florida to just get away from California and all of the craziness that is my everyday life. And one of my good friends uh, told me that I was um, irresponsible for jumping on a plane due to everything that was going on and with the coronavirus. And I, didn't know how to take that uh, because I, from what I had heard about the coronavirus, I had my own judgments. One, that the coronavirus impacts people who are older, people who have weakened immune systems, um, and people who have pre-existing health issues like diabetes, lung disease, heart disease, any type of uh, respiratory infection. And I, I am in good health and I am very, I, I'm always aware of the things that I'm putting into my body. And so I wasn't nervous about traveling. Um, I know that airlines and airports are taking precautions to ensure that one, um, airline crew are triple disinfecting and sanitizing um, aircrafts before passengers get on board. And I do know that there have been uh, recently um, Incidents where a flight attendant tested positive for coronavirus after landing at LAX. And there was a passenger that flew from JFK Airport to Palm Beach, Florida, and knew that they tested positive for coronavirus and still continued to board the flight. So I know of those incidents. And so I felt safe flying because of those things. And... Um, I still feel fine. And so, um, fast forward to this week, a lot has happened in the world. And my job has actually been impacted by the coronavirus. Um, as of yesterday, I have to take days off of work, unpaid days off of work. Um, because my business has actually suffered due to, um, so I'm in California, so there are a few counties that actually, um, have to quarantine for the next two weeks, and that might be extended. Um, the governor, Newsom, held a conference, um, yesterday stating that, uh, there will be greater restrictions and that non-essential businesses must close and that people have to self-quarantine. And so um, I was a little upset by that uh, because the days that I have to take off work are unpaid. And so I was told by my employer that I could file for unemployment for those days, but I don't know if I will be able to receive unemployment based off of what I make during the week. And so I will research that and investigate, but I don't think I will uh, qualify for unemployment for the days that I, I do not work. And I know the world is suffering because of the pandemic there as of today there are over 
250,000 people who have contracted the coronavirus. And in a 24 hour period, there were 45 new cases of coronavirus just in the States. And that is scary. Every single state has at least one case of the coronavirus. And I believe New York has the highest cases of coronavirus currently. And there was a particular area of New York, I think it's um, New Rochelle, that uh, Cuomo actually um, put in a quarantine for that particular city. How are you? Thanks for coming on my live. I haven't seen you on live in a very long time. Hope you're uh, having a beautiful day. And um, outside of New York, I believe California has the highest number of cases. So it's New York, California. But the California cases are more in um, the Bay Area. And so, um, and then after that, I think it's Illinois. I don't know. It might be Illinois. Um, and I believe um, the last state was, well, I actually won't say what the last state is because I think it was either Iowa or Idaho, one of those, but don't quote me on that. And there have been worldwide 10,000 people who have died because of the coronavirus. Um, positive news of the 250,000 cases of the coronavirus, 89,000 people have recovered. So coronavirus is serious, yes, but it's not a death sentence. If people get tested and they um, receive treatment um, as much as possible in rest, they can survive. And so that's good news. And so I know that scientists are working on treatments, additional treatments and cures right now. And so I hope that we see a cure within the next six months. I know they have to do trials um, with actual people who have the coronavirus. And so I hope that this isn't something that we're dealing with into summer um, or kind of like late. Well, in California, we have late summer. So in September, August, that's it's extremely warm here. So I hope we're not dealing with this in August and September uh, because there are a lot of small business owners that will go out of business. A lot of um, L.A. small businesses are closed indefinitely, which is horrible. This is wreaking havoc on the economy um, and small business owners. And so um, I'm curious if any of you are impacted. I put up a poll recently about um, individuals who have been impacted if um, your job um, has closed up shop, if you're working remotely. And yesterday when I was on my way to work, it was startling how quickly I was able to get to work because there are just no cars on the road in Los Angeles, which is scary. LA has a definite and long-standing car culture. People love their cars here. There are individuals who own three, four, five cars um, who don't have a family. And it's, it is like an apocalypse looking out on roads and there are just no cars, there are no people. And so it is, it is, it is very frightening times that we live in right now. And I hope that it comes to an end very, very soon.
Um, I don't know how much local economies will be able to rebound with businesses being closed for such a long period of time, people not working for a prolonged period of time. There are thousands of people who are out of work at this time. And some people are not getting paid. Like fortunately, LA Unified, uh, school uh, officials, school staff, they're being paid. A lot of companies can't afford to do that. Um, and it's interesting, um, kind of like larger organizations, Sprinkles, they were going to stay open during this time, but they, people were leaving comments on their social media pages that they um, were putting their workers in danger by staying open. So within a day, they actually put out a statement that they were closing and that they would still pay workers. So that was a good thing. I actually love sprinkles, so I'm heartbroken. Uh, but fortunately, their ATMs will actually have fresh baked cupcakes. So I assume the founder is going to be baking them herself <laughs> and putting them across the country. Um, in Beverly Hills, there's an ATM, a, a cupcake ATM. And I think in downtown Disney, uh, there's a, a cupcake ATM. And so if you have never ordered a cupcake from Sprinkles ATM, you are missing out. Um, and they're, it's so cool, so delicious. Um, and I also want to talk about a number of myths that have spread on social media during this time. On someone's Instagram page, there was a post that said that cocaine um, prevents people from getting coronavirus. That's not true. Cocaine will get you high, but it will not prevent you from getting coronavirus. Or if you have coronavirus, it will not get rid of it. Don't do cocaine. Uh, there's a myth that heat kills coronavirus. So if you turn up the heat in your home, Unfortunately, that will not kill coronavirus. The amount of heat that you would need to kill the uh, virus is like medical grade heat that hospitals use to destroy bacteria and germs on medical instruments. Uh, so people also were saying that like drinking hot tea, um, bathing in like scalding hot water will um, prevent you from getting coronavirus not the case. Don't, you will hurt yourself. Don't do that. Another one, which is interesting, is that gargling with salt water will actually uh, prevent you from getting coronavirus. Gargling with salt water will prevent you from getting a sore throat. Why is Roberto, oh my gosh, Roberto is texting me. God, he always does this. Roberto, why don't you just get on the live instead of texting me? God. Boys from Argentina. And that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> um, so gargling with salt water will cure, cure, I, I, I said cure, cure uh, a sore throat, but it won't cure you of coronavirus. Um, also, and this one is kind of scary. There is a myth that if you get a, if you are getting a package from China or mail from China, that you could get coronavirus. That's not true. A virus can't live long enough on a package to survive. And also there are are a lot of restaurants in Chinatowns across the world that had to close like a month ago because people were afraid that by eating at a Chinese restaurant that they would get coronavirus. That's not true. You can't get the virus um, from eating Chinese food. Now, if someone 
It doesn't matter what country they're from. If they are sick and they are preparing your food and they cough or sneeze around you, the droplets can enter into your eyes or your mouth and you can get coronavirus that way, but it doesn't matter where they are from. So um, please don't think that you can get the coronavirus from packages from China or Chinese restaurants, not the case. And this also brings up an interesting point. Um, I've seen, while I was, um, flying to Florida at the airport, I saw a lot of people with surgical masks and there is a distinct difference between China and the U.S. regarding surgical masks and preventing the coronavirus. So in China, it is culturally acceptable for people to wear the mask to go about their day-to-day -day lives However, in the States, doctors are recommending that people do not wear surgical masks to prevent coronavirus. And they say that because, yes, wearing a mask, if you are around individuals who are sick, if they cough or sneeze, the mask will prevent droplets from getting into your mouth. However, they are afraid, like what has happened in China, that China has run out of surgical masks because people are hoarding them. They are afraid that there will be a shortage of surgical masks in the States. So they're asking healthy people not to wear surgical masks because this is the thing. Doctors need them more than um, lay people, lay individuals. And so if you self-quarantine and you're healthy, there's no need to wear a surgical mask or purchase one. However, if you are out in the public and you're wearing a surgical mask and someone sneezes or coughs, the surgical mask will prevent it from getting into your mouth, but it can get into your, your eyes and you can get sick that way. So uh, that's the difference between uh, states versus China and the use of surgical masks. Um, there are a few other myths that um, are... Um, I think they're kind of like common sense that people wouldn't believe those things. And so I'm not going to go into those, um, but I'm curious how you all are dealing with the coronavirus in your communities. There were two press conferences yesterday by um, Mayor Garcetti of LA, um, who also um, Mayor Garcia of Long Beach was there and Mayor Garcia is an out and proud gay man that just got married like a year ago and so I thought it was very cool that Garcetti invited Garcia to uh, be with him on stage. Visibility is important and so Garcetti was talking about greater restrictions for businesses in LA uh, which are non-essential businesses. Um, my business is considered an essential business because we deal with uh, skin cancer surgeries. And so because of that, we provide life-saving treatment. So my business is staying open um, and I'm grateful because I need to work. Um, and so essential businesses are banks, post offices, grocery stores, restaurants, but restaurants can only have takeout. People can't dine into restaurants. And I have not been able to go to a grocery store. However, there are two grocery stores um, near my job. They're very frou-frou high-end grocery stores. And so 
the shelves are not empty there, but the prices are ridiculous. Like I paid ten dollars for like a container of soup like this. Um at the 99 cent store, I get the same container for 99 cents. Um, so I actually need to make my way over to the 99 cent store today because I know they received a shipment. So I need, I need soup. Um, and I need some protein powder because I am trying to get buff for the summer. Um, and um, lots of tea. I can survive off of protein bars, soup, and tea. That's Oh, and vegetables and fruit, of course. Um, because I'm from Florida, I need a constant supply of oranges all day long. That's how my skin looks so good. <laughs> Um, so yeah, so I'm curious how you guys are surviving in your communities. Um, if you are in the community that actually has a quarantine that you cannot leave your home and there have been a lot more people in the public eye who have come out and talked about how they or, um, loved ones have been impacted by the coronavirus. And so... Um, Shea kool came out and stated that her cousin, who I think her cousin was like in her 20s, died from the coronavirus. Um, and so I think that was a wake up call for um, a lot of younger people. There was a, a study that came out that 40% of the people who are hospitalized are, I think it was 25 to 45. So 45% of people in that age range are um, hospitalized for coronavirus. And that was shocking because it definitely put an, an age that um, I didn't necessarily correlate with the coronavirus. And so I am definitely in that range. Um, I'm 26, if you didn't know. Um, and it's just shocking because from the beginning of the outbreak, we heard that it's older people um, who are more susceptible to contracting coronavirus. And so that was scary. And... Um, I'm going to get back to kind of like people in the public eye, but Megan McCain on The View, uh, she was furious with millennials who were in Florida this past weekend. Yes, that was me. Partying on the beach and just saying how irresponsible that they were and how people should have been home self-quarantined. And my thing with that is that, yes, there was a risk of contracting the coronavirus. However, Megan McCain stated that she self-quarantined at home with her husband. And I'm sure she lives in a beautiful home that has a well-stocked refrigerator that she doesn't need to go out into the world. She has everything that she needs at home for people who are single, people who do not have a well-stocked refrigerator, for people who, and of course, these were all college students uh, on spring break, who had probably paid for this months ago. Some people don't have the luxury or privilege of just staying at home. Some people don't have the luxury or privilege of just canceling a ticket and not getting their money back. And so I think it's so easy to judge someone when you're not thinking about what it means to be a poor college student. You can't do certain things if you are a poor college student. And I think that 
sometimes if you're if life give you gives you lemons, you have to make lemonade out of it. Was I in the in the mix of all the partying in Florida? No, I was not. Um, but I still wanted to enjoy myself, and I did. And so I think um, you do have to think twice about putting yourself um, in a crowded uh, club or um, if you're on the beach, uh, just being around a lot of people. But you can distance yourself uh, from others and still be safe. And you can still look cute in a Speedo with a surgical mask. So there you go. Um, so also, uh, there's a singer. I think her name is Biba Rex or Biba Rexa. She stated that um, a loved one had died from coronavirus. And so um, a lot of her fans were sending her love. And of course, um, it came out weeks ago that um, Idris Elba tested positive for coronavirus. Um, also, Tom Hanks and his wife, Rita Wilson, they tested positive. And there was an NBA player who tested positive about two weeks ago. And that's the reason why the NBA um, decided to cancel all of their games for the rest of the season. And shortly after that, a lot of the all, all of um, the national sports leagues canceled their seasons as well. And so um, I, you know, hope that we do find a cure quickly um, because it will get worse before it gets better. Um, and just from last week to this week, uh, they're, we're in a state of panic and people are um, increasingly becoming afraid for their lives. I actually um, was out yesterday trying to pick up medication and the security guards at the pharmacy where I, where I was they were so afraid to touch anything that didn't belong to them. They all had on gloves. Uh, they all had on surgical masks. Um, and it was making me anxious just seeing how anxious they were. Someone dropped a mask on the floor and left it you would have thought a bomb went off in the space, just like the frenzy and the panic that ensued because of that. And so um, I think just seeing the reactions of other people during this time will just cause a ripple effect and create chaos where it didn't exist previously. And so I, I say this, like, people should be mindful of the way that they react in public. Like, if you hear someone cough or sneeze, you don't have to jump 10 feet in the air. You can politely excuse yourself um, to move away from them. But it's like, it's like when someone screams um, gun or fire in a crowded space. That's illegal, by the way. Um, if there is, if there, if, if there isn't a presence of one, um, that it's, it's the equivalent of that. And, uh, just be mindful of how you react in public spaces. Um, and that goes out to a particular person who's watching this, um, because he's a little dramatic at all times. And I think people who are watching this and know who that person is. <laughs> um, and so um, I hope that all of you out there are safe, that you're with your loved ones. Um, and don't freak out. We're going to be okay. Um, just take care of yourself. Take precautions. And uh, just be mindful and we will be okay. There will be a vaccine and people will be treated. Um, 
I hope that you guys have a wonderful day. I'm going to do a review video later today. Um, oh, and taxes um, have been extended. Filing taxes has been extended, I think, until July or June. So that's great news for people like me who are slow to do their taxes. We're almost in April. I can't believe it. This year is going by so quickly. So um, we have an extension for taxes. So that's amazing. Um, I Later today, I'm going to, before I do my review video, I'm going to try to find, I'm craving desserts. So I'm going to try to find a bakery that's open and just buy an entire cake and devour it because I'm starving right now. So um, before I ramble on anymore, I hope that you guys have a beautiful day. And until the next time, treat yourselves good. Tell your family friends that you love them and take care of yourself. Thanks, Until next time. Bye.